Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome back. Welcome if you're new. Today, we are packing my hospital bag. My name is Tiffany. This is Our Small Town Life. I am so happy to have you here. If you're new, we'd love to have you as part of our family, considering that subscribe button before you leave. Today we're packing up my hospital bag, baby's bag. I'm currently 34 weeks pregnant with baby number four, so I've done this a few times. I feel like I've kind of got a good grasp on what I want to take. I would call it fairly minimal. I'm a light packer just in general. I may be falling somewhere like middle of the road though. Not too extreme, not too minimal. Here's the thing. Here in the United States, at least, the hospital is going to provide pretty much everything that you need. You could almost walk into that hospital with nothing but the clothes you got on and a car seat and you would be fine. Most of what you bring is just stuff to make you comfortable. The things you know you want to have or would like to have while you're there. There's no right or wrong way to pack. Just do what you think is going to make you comfortable. And I think I have... Like I said, maybe falling somewhere in the middle of the road. We'll see. You tell me. And y'all, I've done it all from hardly taking anything. As a matter of fact, our first child, I packed the least for. I wore a hospital gown the whole time I was there. She wore the little white shirts and used the hospital blankets. We used everything the hospital provided. I think I took some clothes for Justin, something for me to wear home, something for her to wear home very, very minimal. And then I kind of realized from there that there were things that would make me more comfortable. I wanted to kind of have some of my own things. Thought, you know what? Baby needs to have some of their own things too. And so from there, I kind of adjusted and started taking what worked best for us. So that's what I'm going to show you today. We're going to pack up my things, baby's things. I also have Justin's, but I'm not going to show you that because y'all, it's so, so, so simple. All it is is uh, an extra pair of shorts, a couple of t-shirts, something for him to sleep in, some socks and underwear, and he's good to go. So I'm not going to show you that, but I'm going to show you everything that I'm packing for myself and everything that we're packing for baby boy. The plan is to put all of mine and Justin's things in this rolling suitcase. Now that I'm looking at it, this may be too much. It may be too big <laughs> for, for what I want to bring. If it is, I may end up putting a blanket in here because I'm not planning on taking a blanket, but if I have all the extra space, I might. We'll just kind of have to see how it goes in here. So I'm going to lay this down and then we're going to start with my things. Let's just start with what I'm taking and then I'll show you everything that I'm taking for baby. We are literally going to be packing this as I show it to you. I've got the bag, I've got all my things laid out and we are quite literally going to be putting it in the suitcase as I show it to you. Um, I, like I said, I'm 34 weeks pregnant and I've had babies anywhere from 37 to 39 weeks. So I thought, you know what, I've got all these things. We might as well go ahead and get it packed up, have it ready to go. And that way I don't have to worry about it. And whenever baby comes, we're ready and set to go. Watch this be my 40 week baby. And if so, that's fine too. <laughs> It'll be ready then. Yes, I am having my fourth baby, but y'all, I've still watched so many of these videos and watch what other people have packed. And what I did was I I just made myself a list as I was watching those videos. I'm going to cover up baby's name because we've not announced <laughs> that yet. But I literally just like wrote things down and separated it out for baby, for Justin, for mama, toiletries and extras. Last minute things I need to get. And I just made myself a list. And then now that it's time to pack, I've pulled all those things out and we're ready to go. Okay, let's get started with things that I'm taking for myself. I plan to labor in a hospital gown. That's what I've always done. And then after I have baby and get a shower, I have a gown to put on. This came from Amazon. Everything that I can link will be linked down in the description box. This is a super comfortable little gown. It has some lace details on it. So it's kind of cute, you know. That's probably what I will live in <laughs> the majority of the time that we are at the hospital. And then I also have a robe. And my mom and sister actually got this for me. Again, it came off of Amazon. And 
I just like to have a robe for a couple of reasons. When you're in the hospital gown, obviously it's not very flattering from behind. <laughs> and so if you want to get up and walk around, it's nice to have a robe to put on over that. I also like to just have a robe because I might want to wear it to lay around after baby's born. So I have both of those things and I'm taking an extra set of pajamas that are just really soft. It's a pair of shorts and a little top. And I actually got these when I was pregnant with Huddy, our now five-year-old. I packed these in my hospital bag when I had him. So these are like five, six years old. They, I think they came from Walmart. And then for coming home, I just have a pair of black, I call them exercise pants. They're not maternity pants, but they do have a higher waist and they're pretty stretchy. I've had these for forever <laughs> as well. And just an oversized t-shirt. My mom and sister also got me these super soft slippers. I'm going to pack those to have to wear around while we're at the hospital. I don't know what I've done with my socks. I know I got them out. Hang on, let me find them. They hadn't gone far. Okay, so I'm also the kind of person who does not like for my feet to be cold at all. <laughs> And so I have a couple of pair of socks that have grippers on the bottom. Those will be handy to kind of walk around in. Audrey was actually with me when I got these. She's my oldest. And she said, Mom, you need the ones that say world's coolest mom. And if your daughter tells you you need socks that say world's coolest mom, you get the socks that says world's coolest mom. So I'll have those as well as a couple of pair of just regular socks so my feet will not get cold. I pretty much live in nursing bras these days, so I'm sure I'll probably have one on when I go to the hospital. And then I'm taking just a second nursing bra. It's actually called a sleeping bra or something like that, I think. And that'll just be easy to have. I may not even wear a bra unless my milk decides to come in. But I'll have it, and I'll have the one that I'm wearing. I'm also taking a couple of pair of just black underwear. I'm not a huge fan of the mesh underwear that the hospital provides. I know some people love them. They're just not my favorite. So I'm going to have a couple of options. I'm taking, I'll have the, the stuff the hospital provides if I need it and if I want to use it. I'll have my own underwear and I'm taking some of my own pads. You'll see those in a minute. And then I'm also going to put in here some of these adult diapers. These were not a thing when I had my other children. These have kind of come along. Okay, they were a thing, but not necessarily a postpartum thing. <laughs> and to me, this is brilliant. Like, I think this is going to be my favorite. <laughs> I'm going to have a couple of options, right? I'll have the stuff the hospital provides. I'll have my own underwear and pads. And I'll have these. However I'm feeling, whatever it is I want to use, <laughs> I'll have options. Also, in the day and time we live in, you need masks. So I'm packing a couple of masks for Justin and myself. I don't really know what the hospital policy is gonna be as far as masks go. I gotta look into that. Either way, I'll have some. And then the last thing that I'm gonna put right here is a wet bag. And just taking it, empty in case I have some dirty laundry or baby has wet laundry that I don't want to just stick back in the suitcase, I can put it in this wet bag and wash it when we get home. And the shoes that I wear into the hospital will be the shoes that I wear home and they'll also be shoes I can just put on to wear into the bathroom or even in the shower if I wanted to. And it's these like fake Birkenstock things that came from the Dollar General. And I pretty much live in those right now that the weather's getting warmer. So I'm sure I'll have those on when I go to the hospital and I'll wear them home. Whatever shoes I wear to the hospital, I'll wear home. These two little bags right here have, well, let's just start with this one. This has some makeup and medicines in it. Not much. Will I wear makeup while I'm there? I don't know. I may not even want to put any on. That's another thing that in the past, sometimes I have wanted to put makeup on and other times I just didn't care to. So in this one, I have 
some makeup remover wipes. A couple of hair bows. Now this isn't makeup, but I've stuck it in here. Some breath strips just because I may want these or Justin may want them. Is everything else makeup? Yeah. I have an extra foundation in case I want to put it on. It's not going to hurt to take it. A brow pencil, some mascara, and then I have three chapsticks or lip balms. That is one thing I will use. So I have a couple of different options there. This is one thing that will for sure be put on. And sometimes y'all, all I do is put on a lip balm or a chapstick and mascara and I'm good to go. So either way, I'll have it. If I want to use it, it'll be there. In this bag, I have, and I put the medicines in this one. I thought I had them in there with the makeup. They're in this one, and it's just a couple of my vitamins, a couple of Justin's vitamins, some Advil for him, some of these little individual packs of Advil. If he ends up with a headache, that's what usually works best for him, so I stuck some of those in there. I've also got some of the nipple balm that I plan on using. Again, this is something that the hospital has provided for me in the past, not this brand though, and this is what I plan to use, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take it with me. And then I've also got some of my own pads and some nursing pads. I've never needed these while we were at the hospital, but there's a first time for everything, so we'll stick a couple pair in there in case I need them. I'll have them. Is that the kind of the theme? <laughs> in case I need them, I'll have them. Why is it things will never go back in the bag like you had them? I put this stuff in here just to make sure it would all fit, you know? And I can't get it to go back in. There we go. I also went ahead and ordered an extra phone charger that I'm going to put in the bag. I know a lot of people say get a 10-foot cord. I didn't. I think that one's 6-foot. I'm not that worried about it. I've never had an issue with plugging my phone up and it reaching the hospital bed. But if there's not a plug close, I'll just plug it up and leave it for a little while. No big deal. Now on to toiletries. I have this little thing of hand sanitizer and I'm actually going to clip it on the diaper bag. So we'll do that in just a minute. I got a bath sponge. This is what we typically use. So I went ahead and picked up one to take with us. And then I went ahead and got a bag from Walmart that was a travel kit. It already had a lot of travel size stuff in it. Of course, I've added some extra things, but it had shampoo and conditioner. It had lotion, toothpaste, and a toothbrush. I've added an extra toothbrush for Justin. It had some floss. What else? A comb. And some de deodorant. Did I say that? Some women's deodorant. And then I put in a deodorant for Justin. Some contact solution and contact lens cases for us. Some Q-tips and a razor. It didn't have any soap in it. And I had just like a bar of soap that I stuck in here. So that's all of mine and Justin's toiletry type items. And then I have my list of last minute things that we need to grab before we leave. There's not many. Justin's pretty particular about his pillow, so he'll need to get his pillow. I'm making a basket of nurses' gifts. We'll need to get that. My wallet and our glasses. Those are the last minute things that we'll need to get and put in here. And there is plenty of room left in the suitcase, so I may get a blanket and put in here as well. We'll see. Before we go on to baby things, let me just show you my snack bag. Don't judge. Go ahead, judge. <laughs> I don't care. I'm all about the snacks. And that's another thing. If you watched my uh, baby shower haul, you saw that my sister and my mom made a whole basket for us of things for the hospital, things we would need, all kinds of snacks. And I have a whole bag this whole bag is dedicated to snacks and drinks. 
I don't know if the vending machines are going to be open. I don't know how easy it's going to be for Justin to get food. I don't know if I give birth late at night, if I'm going to be able to get something to eat afterwards. And Mama needs her food. <laughs> so I'm going to show you a few things that we've put in here. I have a few bags of lactation cookies. And I'm a chocolate person and Justin's more of a like savory <laughs> kind of snack person. So there's a couple of different bags of chocolates in here. And then some trail mix stuff. Almost like a Chex Mix type thing. Some Slim Jims and pistachios. These are a favorite. Some Pop-Tarts. And then a couple of coffees or mocha frappuccinos. A couple of waters. And I also got a couple of my favorite body armors. These are said to help with milk production. I don't know. I just like them, so why not have them to drink anyway? So we are set as far as snacks and drinks. My friend Jennifer at Southern Mama Drama, she gifted us this diaper bag. It is the Eddie Bauer, I think it's Places and Spaces or something like that. Again, it'll be linked. It has all kinds of wonderful pockets, and most of them don't have anything in it right now because it's just going to be packed with hospital stuff. But, let me go ahead and show you. It has an insulated pocket here on the side. And I'm going to go ahead and put a baby bottle in here. This isn't something I've ever taken before. And if you need a bottle at the hospital, they have the, um, the little pre-made formula with the nipple that you screw on. But I heard somebody else say, and I wish I could remember who, that go ahead and take a bottle if... For some reason, baby needs to have formula. I do plan on breastfeeding, but all of my babies have had jaundice to some extent. And if they need formula, you'll have one of the bottles that you plan on using anyway. Over here on this side, there's a space for baby wipes, but I'm not taking any wipes or diapers because we'll use what the hospital has and then bring home the extras. In this front zipper right here, I'm going to put this bag of... Passies. I have a couple of different kinds of passies. You never know what baby will like. These are washed, sterilized, ready to go. So I'm going to put those in that front zipper. And then there's two bigger zippers here in the, the front one. I'm going to put a folder because they give you all kinds of papers and things like that that you've got to keep up with. And so you can just stick them in the folder. And when you feel like looking at them, you know where they're at. And in this front pocket, I'm also putting this wooden circle. It's got baby's name on it. Not showing it yet, but we will take his picture with that when he gets here. So that's going in the front pocket. And then in the main compartment, I'm putting a couple of pair of socks, some little hats. This one is just a gray one, and this one goes with this little swaddle blanket. And I think what I'll do... The plan is, plans change, but the plan is maybe I'll wrap his little bassinet mattress in this blue swaddle and then wrap him up in this to take his first picture. I don't know. We'll see. That's what I'm thinking. And then I have another muslin blanket. Those are just convenient for all kinds of things. And I have an actual swaddle. Never used one of these before, but I've heard great things about them. So, we have a few for this one, and I'm going to pack one in our bag. For his clothes, I'm taking some newborn things and some zero to three month things. All of our babies have been over eight pounds. Even Audrey, who was born at 37 weeks, was eight pounds, eight ounces. So I'm thinking he'll be a big baby. You never know. So again, a couple of these things I'm going to show you are newborn, and a couple are zero to three months. I have a gown. These are a favorite. I also have several sleepers. I think I have three different footed sleepers. And then I have a couple of just onesies because onesies are convenient to just put them in and then wrap them in a swaddle and you're good to go. And I have two options for coming home outfits. One of them was actually what we used to tell the kids that we were having a little boy. We wrapped this up and they opened it on Christmas morning and found out that we were having a boy. I thought that would be fun for him to come home in. It is zero to three months, so in case it is too big, 
I have this other little outfit that my sister actually got that's smaller. So we'll have that in case the other's too big. I'm also going to stick in a couple of Burke Claws. These are just uh, Gerber organic pre-fold diapers, but I like to use them as Burke Claws. I'm going to put a couple of those in there. I'm taking this little bunny because one, it'll be cute to take his picture with it and maybe just let it ride with him home. Isn't it adorable? We're going to put that in there. And then the last thing is this portable sound machine. I thought that might be nice to have. And because it is portable and easy to take with us, I'm going to stick it in the diaper bag and that'll go with us as well. And that's everything, y'all. We are officially packed for the hospital. I think we've still got a few weeks. Hopefully we've still got a few weeks, but whenever the time comes, we'll be ready to go. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a little bit, a little bit of inspiration if you are a mama about to pack a hospital bag yourself. We love you guys and we'll see you next time. Bye y'all. Thank mm -hmm. you.